Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Huey. Happy birthday to, to the new. <laughs> to the new, absolutely. Um, how old are you? 23 today. Gosh, 23? The years have gone fast, haven't they, uh, Coogan? That's for sure. They have. Has it been? I mean, I remember that first press conference before you even turned pro. Yeah, um, I was 18. Has it gone quick? It has. It's gone quick, but in a sense, it's been a hard few years, but now that's all been put behind me now. And like I say, everything happened to a reason, and I believe this is my time. You've been um, obviously under the guidance of your dad uh, throughout your career, and he's made sure that you've had the right fights at the right time to put you instead for a night like Saturday night. 100%. I've had these, had these fights and not being 100%. Right, and now I am 100% right. Having these fights, what no one else wants to fight, these people that make you look awkward and horrible. But now I'm uh, ready to show the world what I've actually got, and I believe I am going to knock him out. Talking to um, Joseph Parker's trainer earlier, he said that he doesn't rate you above Carlos Takam or Andy Ruiz, two uh, of the standout opponents that Joseph Parker's faced out in his career. Uh, what would you say to that? I'd like to see his words after the fight, after the press conference, because he's going to say something completely different after it. He probably won't even show up, to be honest with you. He'll probably put his head down and walk off, because believe me, he's getting beat. And he's never ever fought no one like me, ever in his life. Um, what did you make of the press conference in particular? Obviously, Dave Higgins uh, coming in. He seemed like he'd had a couple of tequilas. To be honest with you, yeah. It's so pathetic. There's supposed to be professional people here. Yeah, especially to get promoters. It's an embarrassment, isn't it? To see a man, it looks like he's just come off from a night out. Yeah, he's white as a ghost. I called him Snow White. He was literally, you could just see the whiteness. And there was a, a big guy there with a red jacket on. Yeah, at the side of him. Whatever was that? He was, he was like slurring. He was rocking side to side. He was that pissed. Whatever was they going to do? And as my dad was speaking to him, it was like he was, uh, it was like he was shitting bricks. He was going whiter and whiter. We saw your dad kind of lose it there for a little while. I don't know if you consider that losing it because obviously you've been around him. But um, was that was that your dad losing it or not really? No, I mean, listen. You see, my dad was losing it. He'd have his teeth down his neck. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, but I mean, we've seen Joseph Parker, and we've been a lot more aware of Joseph Parker. He's been linked with just about every heavyweight going, obviously, especially since he, he won the world title. And there's been talks alongside this build-up of him with um, other fighters, including Joshua, Bellew, and, and all these kind of guys. And uh, we've heard your comments before about, you know, people making plans uh, ahead of your fight, We're, you know, kind of there's dismissing a, you. They can keep talking, they can keep predicting fights after me, whatever. But believe this... Joseph Parker's coming as a world champion, but he is leaving empty-handed. I truly believe in that. Promoters suggesting that this fight wouldn't even take place this week. Exactly. Look, they'll all be eating the words, and especially on the 23rd, after that fight, they're all going to be swallowing the words because they, they are. Because we are so confident in this fight. People can talk rubbish. It's like them, them there, Joseph Parker and the team. They didn't believe that this fight was going to go ahead. They had other plans in place for this fight, so they are underestimating me big. Even if they don't think it, yeah, they are. And I don't hear any excuses after this fight because I believe that you will hear a lot of excuses, uh, ifs and buts and all that. I should have done this, but believe me, I am coming and he's never fought nothing like me before. How do you feel about the fight being on uh, the YouTube platform, pay-per-view on YouTube? I think it's a good thing. I think it's, uh, I think it's the new, new like uh, era for boxing. I believe uh, eventually it's going to go. It's the future, uh, especially because it's world worldwide, and uh, you've got a good, um, good population. It's in America. It's all over the world. Who hasn't got YouTube, and they can watch it? So, I think it is. I think it's a great thing. We saw the last time people uh, backed against the fury. What happened? So. Is that the same message this week? 100%. Listen, people can back against me or whatever, but they're going to eat the words on the 23rd. And I honestly believe that. So 
all the haters out there, they can hate as much as they want. I'm just a, I'm just a man on a mission. And I, like I said, from a young kid, I've always wanted this dream, and this is my dream. And I'm a few days away from it, and I'm not gonna let it go behind. I'd rather die in the ring. This is what people don't get. They say Joe's just gonna knock me out, but let me tell you something. I'm gonna laugh in his face on his hardest shot because I'm going nowhere. What have you made of the whole referee situation? I know this is not really in your control when it's kind of a, a, a team thing, but uh, what have you made of the, which was the really the basis of what started off today's press conference about the referee get, and judges? I don't get involved in the politics side of things, but to argue about such a thing at the end of the day, they must be very shook up, especially to come out like that, uh, the Higgins father. Uh, they must be very worried. And I believe they are very worried because... He thinks, at the end of the day, what's it got to do with the referee? It's me and him in there. It's a fight's a fight, isn't it? The referee can't fight for him. So, at the end of the day, it's just an excuse just to go in their favour, to be honest with you. They're just whining about nothing because they're absolutely, I think they're terrified, deep down. Are we going to see Tyson this week? Uh, it wouldn't surprise me, he'll be there. Definitely. Spoke to him recently. We saw him at the weekend uh, I've not at the Copper Box. Recently. I've just been, to be honest with you, I've been phones off and I've just been concentrating on one thing is the, is the fight. Okay. Have you got anything else you'd like to add? No, nope, there's nothing I'd like to add. I just, just can't wait now to show the world what I've actually got. MTK will have a new world champion on Saturday. Hey, 100%. Definitely. Repping the MTK. There we go. The team there. That's it. <laughs> All right, well, listen, uh, Huey, thank you very much for talking to uh, IFL TV. You're going to have a little trim up before the weekend? No, I'm just going to keep it like the grizzly bear. <laughs> Get one like mine. <laughs> it's right. a bit too far down for me. Is it really? Yeah, but no, nah, I think, I don't know yet. I might keep it just rough and ready. Really? It's your birthday today. You're actually not doing anything, I'm assuming. There's nothing at all. What is the... My celebrations come after the 23rd of that bout. The main thing is now to stay focused and... Uh, just look forward to the fight. Not out getting on it tonight, then. No, definitely not. I'll leave that to you. Uh, I'll part. I'll, me and James will party for both of you. You can take the cake as well. <laughs> it's a good cake, that is, though, isn't it? It is a good cake. All right, well, listen, um, we'll see you in uh, Manchester from, obviously, uh, we've got Wednesday workout at the Print Works, so... Yeah, um, no, 100%. I'll see you there, sir. No problem. Thanks very Huey much. Fury, thank you very much.